welcome back to my channel Alex here thank you guys so much for tuning in today so today I'm real chill I I really wanted to play in a lot of the new stuff that I just got in the recent boxy charm for April you guys gonna pop up right here if you have not seen that unboxing video go ahead and check that out but I was like I want to do a fresh face today nothing really heavy um, because we do have to run to errands today so I said I would just come on here and basically film a nice little fresh face for you using a mixture of products um, basically different things that I've been loving and also like I said a couple of things from the new boxy charm oh so yeah let's get started with what I'm going to be using my face as always everything that I talk about here is going to be listed down in the description box for your convenience so the first thing that I am putting on my face is some primer and this is by Makeup Forever. This is their step one equalizer. This is their smoothing primer. I really like to focus this in my pores, my T-zone and wherever I know I have lines or things like that. So around my mouth or my nose, places like that, that's where this stuff goes. I haven't done a talk through in a long time so I should really turn my phone off. So yeah, that's off. So now that that's done, I'm going to jump on into this palette right here. This came in the April Boxy Charm. This is by a company called Measurable Difference, and it's their concealer collection. Their 16 color concealer collection. So I need to grab a concealer brush. So they do have a corrector shade in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this pecan shade is what they call it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that anywhere that I have darkness. So that's almost everywhere on my face. So around my mouth, especially, hmm, it's not as orange as I would like it to be. It's a lot lighter than I'm used to when it comes to a peach tone corrector. So for me, correctors go around my mouth. And like I said, anywhere that I have darkness or the potential for darkness. So my mouth and always all over my acne scars. <laughs> yeah, it was absolutely, I'm going to stop. There's absolutely nothing peach um, about that corrector. It's, it's uh, for my skin tone anyway. It's not, there's nothing as you can see. It just looks really ashy. There's nothing um, peach about that. So, whoop, not in for that there. Make sure my skin stays hydrated. I love to use this Mario Bradesco. This is their facial spray. It has an aloe and rose water. Mm. Smells amazing by the way. Really refreshing to the skin. So I'm gonna put that on and my foundation today I'm going to be using a mixture. This is probably gonna be really weird. I'm gonna be mixing my L'Oreal True Match foundation and a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro, what is this? Their Total Cover foundation. So I'm gonna be mixing these two together. So I really like the total coverage for obviously it's coverage and I like the infallible for its coverage as well but also how it looks on the skin. It looks really skin like and really really nice on the skin. So I'm not going to use a lot of that little bit of it as you can see there. Then I'm going to take a bit of this one right here. And lately I have been mixing foundations. It's just a thing like I feel like formulas together can work awesome even it's, if it's from different brands if it's from the same brand then great but yeah I've been doing a whole lot of mixing so I'm just gonna mix this on the back of my hand to make sure it's all warm and it mixed properly and ready to go there it is it's a little bit red but that's fine <laughs> we can always fix that so I'm just going to slap this on I'm gonna work from one side of the face to the next just to see how this new sponge from Pure Cosmetics works out. So this is the one of the Pure sponges. It comes in a trio and this is what it looks like without being, you know, having water in it. It's a bit stiff, but once you put water in it, it's actually really squishy. So that's the size comparison. It doesn't get super huge, but it gets big enough to get the job done. I like the slant on it. It's really cool. So let's see how this feels on the face. Now, off the bat, it is firm. It's not like bullet hitting me in the face, but it's like, how do I say this? It's like, it's firm on the skin, if that makes sense. It's not as soft as a beauty blender that we're used to, the traditional beauty blender. If you're looking for that type of softness, you're not going to get that with this sponge. Now, it does a good job of blending. You can say that. 
it's a nice sponge nice sponge feels good it's not soft so if you're looking for something that's uber soft like I said then this is not the sponge for you but if you're looking for a trio at an affordable price I think that that's awesome so yeah it's, it blends it gets the job done but if you're looking for something that's soft this ain't it honey but it it blends it gets the job done I'm gonna give this palette another chance so let's use the color toasted almond that's it right here just to cover up some of these acne scars that are still peeking through well, that's an okay color it's not an exact match but it's okay tell from my uber scary face that I went ahead and added my Sasha Buttercup powder my favorite powder right now for underneath my eyes um I can say that this is um not women of color friendly this palette right here the darker shades in here except for the actual espresso color which is way down here gives off an ashy vibe to the skin if you saw when i was trying to blend it like it's it's kind of difficult to blend as well um so this measurable difference palette no nah, not for us not for us brown biscuits darling but so far the pure sponge is dirty but it it actually does a good job like i like how it's chiseled right here and you can just really get under there it reminds me of the real technique sponge as well but it's a less um the Real Techniques to me is a bit more coarse or it's not as, like this is softer than the Real Techniques brush and Real Techniques sponge and the corner is a bit rounder to me so you can really get in there and around the nose really, really good. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. I like, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I just did a brow tutorial on my channel so if you're you're interested in that you can always go ahead and check that one out so brows are on and I'm just gonna go ahead <laughs> I'm gonna sweep off all this Sasha powder awesome I'm gonna sweep that away and I'm gonna add a powder all over my face I've been using the Maybelline better oh super stay <laughs> better skin powder um had this for a while, used it, put it down, picked it back up, and I'm picking it back up again because I'm out of my L'Oreal Infallible one that I love so much. So yeah, when you're out of your fave, then you've got to use what you got. And that's what I'm doing right now. So this is the powder that I have, and this is the powder I'm going to use right now. I like to use this all over and dust it underneath the eyes, make sure the in-between of my brows is done really get underneath the eyes that's also if you use a translucent powder going in with your all over face powder under your eyes actually helps um to you know not have flashback so if you are afraid of flashback just take your all over face powder go underneath the eyes with it and you'll be good to go now around the perimeter of my face i like to use the makeup forever duo matte powder and this is is a darker shade as you can see there it's I'm, I've hit pan on it so I've definitely been using it and I just go around the perimeter of my face and my neck with this one just to make sure that I get a how do you say a more realistic look to the skin it doesn't look like I'm basically flat now you can bronze to do that but I just like to go over everything with this particular powder just around the perimeter of my face with this one nor else just the perimeter 
And then for my bronzing today, I'm going to use this little booger right here. Hit pan on this one too. This is my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color 360. I usually find this shade a lot easier at Walgreens than anywhere else. And I do need to put a little bit of this on my nose. So I don't want to do a, really a contour of su as such today. I just want to make sure that, you know, places that need to have depth, have depth. And one of those places is my nose. And the funny thing is, if I want to look like the rest of my family, <laughs> then I have to really contour my nose. So if I go to like somewhere where I'm with my mom and my brothers, then I would contour my nose because they have these crisp, sharp noses. And I do not. I have button nose. So <laughs> I just go ahead and contour my nose, like legit snatch that nose um, when I'm with them. Now that, that is done and all of our powder is good, I am going to add my highlight, which is probably my favorite thing for today. This is from the BoxyCharm and this is the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Oh, it's just, I can't even deal with this right now. It is gorgeous. You can see they are really blinding, so I need a special brush for this. I'm thinking I want to use a fan brush first, so gonna use a fan brush and just gonna dip that in there this fan brush is from the vanity planet set by the way I'm gonna link that down in the description box as well <sighs> this is this is hair behind the ears hair behind the ears this is the moment of truth guys Whew, let's find our happy place I barely touched my face I barely touched my face. Do you understand? Whoa. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm going to do the next side. I'm going to do the next side. Let's do the next side. Let's show the next side some love. Let's, let's put our hair behind our ears. Show the next side some love. Let's, let's dust off some excess. <sighs> okay. Man, man, do you see? Can we talk? Can we talk? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. And I brought it down like way low. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add our blush. I love this quad from e.l.f. This is their blush palette and this is in dark. To me, this is probably the best blush Um affordable blush quad out there I picked this one up at CVS obviously Target carries this as well as you could probably tell it's really pigmented showing up really really well so yeah this highlighter though I cannot handle it I cannot handle it I'm so like like I know it's gonna be good but I didn't know it's gonna be that good like little bit like I didn't even do much I do check my cheeks when I put on my blush just to make sure everything is in place. I always make a figure eight with my blush brush. So if you have problems putting on your blush, it always looks like, you know, you just rested it on your cheek. Start up here by the highest part of your temple. Sweep that brush down. Make a figure eight. And you will always, always hit the mark. I'm telling you right now, that is probably the best blush tip I ever have for you guys ever to give you until something else comes to my mind. But yeah. Make a figure eight, you will always hit the mark without question. It will never look clown face on you at all. I just can't get over this highlight. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set my face. I've been using this makeup setting spray from Pixi. Pixi, as always, is a brand you can find at Target. This is a part of their Skin Treats line, and this is their Makeup Fixing Mist. It has rose water and green tea. This smells so good. So I'm going to close up all my powders, so because we don't want them setting. We don't. I'm going to spritz this all over my face. Mm -hmm. I love this stuff. Mm. Mm. It smells amazing. It feels really, really good on the skin. So... 
I'm thinking that I want to put in a liner. I don't, like, I want a fresh face, but I also want liner. Mmm, probably not going to do liner. I'm going to just do mascara. Let's do that, shall we? Because I think liner can be a little bit harsh. So I'm going to go ahead and curl these lashes. My lashes are long, but I still love to curl them. It's just a thing. I to use one of my favorites, and this one is by L'Oreal. It's their Voluminous Feline Mascara. I love this thing. It actually does what it says it's going to do. It really pulls the lashes out, really gives them a flirty vibe, especially at the ends. Beautiful, beautiful mascara. So what I'm also going to do is add a little bit more glow to the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to be using this right here. This is a starlit powder from Makeup Forever. And these things are pigmented, so if you're going to use them, I do advise a really light hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a little bit out of the jar, put it into the cap, get a little pencil brush, wiggle it around in there, tap off any excess because this stuff is really over the top, y'all. Like, if you're looking for something really glowy, then their starlet powders are amazing. I'm just going to put that in there. I like the fact that it's buildable as well. So don't think that once you dust off, the excess is going to be bam. Like it is buildable. So you don't get too much of, you know, a good thing. So it's in the corner of my eyes. So super duper happy about that. Now, since we already set our face, right? Now I am Queen Glow. I have a problem. I'm going to go back into my Rodeo Drive and I'm going to take my Anastasia A23 brush. Just a little bit, y'all. I'm serious. A little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit, right? I'm going to just... Just going to put it right here. I'm not going to put it anywhere else. Just just right there. Just, yeah. Just just right there. I, I love it. It's just... Just going to go right there. We're going to be... We're going to be good girls. Woo! Right there, right there, right there. Okay. So I'm also going to put a little bit of that on my nose. With a fan brush, whatever's left on the fan brush. A little bit on the lips. See, I was a good girl. I didn't go back into it, right? So for my lips, I'm going to take a little bit of oil because they feel a little bit dry. I'm going to be using my favorite oil right now, which is the Derma E Skin Hair and Nail Oil. Just going to take a little bit of that, put it on one of my fingers. Warm that up a little bit. And just dab it on my lips. That is on, and now I'm going to take this lip gloss. This was in my boxy charm for April as well. This is the Allegory Story lip gloss, and it's in the shade Plato's Cave. So I'm gonna put this on. It smells good. It is the perfect nude. Perfect nude. Serious. Perfect nude right now. So I feel weird without anything in my waterline, so I'm going to add this liner right here. This is by Makeup Forever. This is in the shade M80. It's like a matte plum color, and I just want to add that in my waterline. I feel weird. Like, I don't have anything in my waterline, so and I don't have on any lashes. I feel so naked without my lashes right now, you guys. So I'm just going to put that in my waterline. go in one more time with my pixie skin treat makeup fixing mist mm -hmm. and we are done y'all i'm so happy with this look i'm so happy you guys came through and joined me today to test out some of these products from the boxy charm for april the only thing i didn't talk about was the shampoo, the hair girt shampoo, the Project Beauty hair girt shampoo. Um, obviously, I'm not washing my hair, but I was like, let me sit down and do my makeup today. So I wanted to show you guys what some of the makeup products actually worked, um, how they worked out on my face. So, so far, my favorites from the BoxyCharm April box are the Allegory Cosmetics Lip Glosses in Plato's Cave and also the Pure Sponge. I really like this. This is actually super nice. Love this thing. And you get three of them, so... You, like, you can't lose with that one. Like, I love that. And definitely, last but not least, you guys already know. You already know the Ofra 
I keep blinding you with it because it's so awesome. The Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. I love this thing. And if you think that your highlighter is too much, you can always go back in with your powder brush and just blend it in to the temple where you started. You know what I mean? Like just blend it in and you'll be fine. But I don't think it's too much. I think it looks amazing. Like just turn and pow. Like it's, it's bomb, y'all. It is so bomb. I love this stuff it's amazing so yeah you guys thank you so much for coming through if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to if you want to see more of me and more of my videos so yeah you guys I'm gonna see you on my next one really really soon and I hope you like this and you can also subscribe to BoxyCharm down in the description box so click the link if you want to go ahead and subscribe to BoxyCharm and I'll see you in my next one really really soon bye guys